Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Nintegi Gamer. Welcome back to some more Undertale. In the last episode, guys, we narrowly avoided the queen of danger herself, may I say, Undyne. And we made it to Hotland, though I may not have been able to introduce... Our welcome to Hotland, since we were being chased down and almost murdered by Undyne. Here's the sign. Welcome to Hotland. But before we start our journeys in Hotland, we're going to head back. Because if we remember earlier, we got a really badly timed phone call from Papyrus. Hey, isn't this where I called you? I have a photographic memory for phone calls. Hey, when are you going to hang out with Undyne? Right now. <laughs> yeah, guys, you remember that fishy-looking house? No, I I'm serious. It, it looks like a fish. <laughs> um, oh, these are new. It's a box, presumably to be pushed. I don't think I can push it. Huh. Ah, today's monsters don't appreciate what makes puzzles great. Nowadays, puzzles are nothing but lasers and moving rocks. Ah, there's no art in that action-y, mindless schlock. It's just timing-based drivel. Give me something that challenges the deepest reaches of my mind. You, you're young. You still got hope. <laughs> Here, try solving this block-pushing puzzle. What? What are you doing? You're pushing it all wrong. Bah, forget it. This generation's really hopeless. How am I supposed to... Okay, I honest to God don't remember this guy. Bah, never mind. Alright, we're just gonna keep going. <laughs> but yeah, guys, today's episode, we're gonna backtrack, and we're gonna, we're gonna hang out with a very special fishy lady. I don't remember how far back it is. I think it's a couple screens back, so I may do a jump cut here. Or just allow you guys to listen in and enjoy the music. Alright guys, so with that, we're pretty much back. You feel a calming tranquility. You're filled with determination. Oh boy! Alright guys. We got a date with danger. And Papyrus. Oh-ho! The human arrives! Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends! Will you hang out? Okay! Stand behind me! Psst. Make sure you give her this! She loves these! Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am! And I brought a friend! Hi, I don't think we've... Why? Don't. You two. Come in. Here, Undyne! My friend brought a gift for you! On their own! Uh, thanks. I'll, um, put it with the others. So are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie! I just remembered! I have to go to the bathroom! You two have fun! Pfft, it just goes right through the window. So, why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? Really? How delightful! I accept! Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship! 
Not! Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you. But I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you? <laughs> what a joke. I could make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> it's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? Sit down and progress. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. All set. What would you like? Hey, don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, why not just point to the one you want? You can use the spear. So we got sugar, soda, hot chocolate, and tea boxes. Blatantly correct choice. Yeah, let's have some tea. Tea, huh? Coming right up. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. Okay, it's all done. Here we are. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already. You take a sip of the tea, it's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Hey, you know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt... bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. Now I'm the head of the Royal Guard, so I'm the one who gets the trained dorks to fight. Like, a uh, Papyrus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's, he's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you. And he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into his little smiling shreds. That's part of why... I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get some more. Wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to have it, you'll have it for him! That's right! Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking, which means that if I give you this lesson, we'll become closer than you can imagine. 
Oh, afraid? We're gonna be best friends! <laughs> Just picks me up by my head! Let's start with the sauce! Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy! Now, pound them to dust with your fists! How will you pound? Strong. You punch the vegetables at full force. You knock over a tomato. Yeah, yeah! Our hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients! Now it's my turn. Nah! Uh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now, we add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best, but I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest. Nah! Uh, just put them in the pot. How will you put them in the pot? Carefully. You place the noodles in one at a time. They clank against the empty bottom. Nice. All right, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Stir harder. 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 Ah, let me do it. Ooh, that's the stuff. All right, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stovetop symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into a bleeding fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. That should be good enough. <laughs> we don't want to set the house on fire. Maybe a little bit more? A little bit more? Left? You fool! This burner only goes one way. Ah, uh, let me do it. See, this is how you... God dang it, Undyne. The very thing I said I didn't want to do. Ah, uh, man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. So, what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. If we can't be friends, that's okay, because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I've even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch. All out on both sides. It's the only way to regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you got. Undyne is letting you make the first attack fake attack. You pretend to swing at Undyne with all your might. <laughs> what? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me? <sighs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first I hated your stupid saturine shtick, but the way you hit me right now, it Reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgard are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here. And I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> Oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. <laughs> Even the house is sad. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, um, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk to you. Well, see you later, punk. Rip Undyne's house. Sounds like only fire lives here now. Still can't interact with the dummy, though. <laughs> Let's see how we call them on, their, on the screen. That's Undyne's house. It's a great place, too. Uh... <sighs> <sighs> yeah, that's my house. Hi, Undyne. How did you get here so fast? I ran. Wowee, Undyne. Someday I want to be as strong and sweaty as you. 
God dang it, Papyrus. Anyway, with that, guys, now that we feel a calming tranquility, I think this is a good spot to end off today's episode. A little short, but a little bit of a filler episode, if you get what I mean. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace!